Crafters, DM Scotty here. Good to have you with me. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit of progress I'm making on our uh, contest winner AJ's Crypt. I've done a little work with the uh, Hotwire Foam Factory tools and uh, I want to show you what I came up with. I have a video detailing those tools if you're interested. So let's go to the table and I'll show you what I've got going on. Hey guys, I wanted to show you a little bit of progress I was making on AJ's Crypt. I want to do a little bit of uh, interesting stuff with some foam. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is that secret passage that is going from one to one room. But I didn't, I didn't want to cut it uh, just the secret passage because I figured it would, it would warp easily. So what I thought would be kind of cool would be to let, leave this part and then take a piece of uh, foam that I cut and use it for the sandstone layer. So this is going through the sandstone rock, and uh, I thought that'd be kind of neat to show that um, on the tile. And then I've got um, the other tile, and I'll have it the same. I'll do the same thing with that. So I'll have like the sandstone rock. So those are the ones I've cut from the pink foam, and they're all ready to paint. So I'll go ahead and paint those. I also wanted to do the entrance. So let me show you what I got there. I got a uh, a base that I made just out of cardboard, and um, I painted it with the sandstone texture. Now here's the cave entrance that I made uh, to go along with it. So that'll go here like this. And then I'm going to have this piece that I've cut, uh, cave entrance. So it'll be going here and that'll lead into the cave itself. I also cut a little bit of a few pieces that I was going to put on the on the front. I cut a little, a little rock that I was going to put there and then another one on top and then I had one more that I was going to have there. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and paint, uh, base paint those um, brown, and then I'm going to paint them up like I did the uh, sandstone uh, on the entrance tile when I did the transitional tile. So I'll come back and show you what those look like. Here's the uh, front part of the cave all painted up, and there's a uh, figure for scale so you can see what it kind of looks like uh, there. Uh, pretty sweet. Uh, let me give you a closer look here. So this was, uh, like I said, this was carved out of the hot wire foam factory, and I just used the same colors I used for the, uh, when I did the blending of the two tiles. So I used the cinnamon and then a light tan to uh, bring out some highlights. So then that fits to the, on the uh, entryway there. And there we go, looking great. I also wanted to show you something else I did. I did the, the secret passages. And here's how I, here's how I uh, employed those pieces of styrofoam. I wanted to make it like, here's the, the, the five foot wide secret passage. And this is like the sandstone that's, in, that's uh, you know, behind this wall here. So I thought that was a neat idea so I could keep this tile uh, from buckling because it's so small, the passageway is so small that so that, but it was kind of a trick I could use to just make it also look neat but kind of uh, give it um, some strength. And then I did, there's two passages so I did one uh, for each side with the uh, sandstone embedded in the wall. And this is, uh, just goes to the end, it doesn't go past the end of the tile so that'll fit nicely up against the uh, crypt itself. So there we go, there's those two uh, things I was working on. And uh, I'll uh, show you some more here soon on uh, AJ's Crypt. Hey crafters, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the DM's Craft. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and I have tons of other videos as you can see. I am the originator of the 2.5D method of crafting tiles. I also do dirt cheap terrain for the table. If all this intrigues you, make sure you check out all the videos below. Also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft!